Welcome, my name is Dr. Pipi, and in this video I want to talk about the Necromancer class for Age of Conan. Um, I want to talk about the characteristics of the class, and I want to talk about the way I play the class in different ways, and also which feed specs I use. Um, I'm level 80, I'm using uh, uh, tier 4 and above items. So let's get going. Um, the Necromancer has the ability to spawn pets, mage pets or melee pets, which means you can do close combat DPS or range DPS by simply sending in your pets. Furthermore, the damage of a Necromancer relies greatly on dots, damage over times, um, um, and when, once you reach level 80, it will become quite important to spell weave and use your big cast like I strike. Uh, first, let's talk about the dots. The basic dots for Necromancer are the Flesh to Worms spell and the Pestilential Blasts spell. You just put them on the enemy and they will keep going. Um, yeah. Also the Gangrenous Stench and the Short Dot Life Leech help greatly. Now, um, of course you can also use your Feed Spec to increase um, the dots that you can use. Um, so let's talk right now about um, using mage pets. I like to use this spec as a mage spec and in this spec I have feated um, in favor of these two mage pets, the Deathless Acolyte Reaper and the Death Dread Archmage Blood Arcanist. It's not easy to find the right points to spend, but this is um, the best I can get, I can go to. Um, important points in this spec are um, Cannibalism. Well, I guess it's the only important, really important. Uh, I believe in every fee spec you should have cannibalism spec because cannibalism um, will give you back mana, and mana problems is one of the big key issues of the necro necromancer. So, yeah, this is the spec I use. Um, the best pets for this spec are the Dread Archmage Blood Arcanist, but you can also go with the Reaper, perfectly fine. And um, if you are too lazy to change once you're fighting something um, where you suddenly can only use melee pets, the Blighted one is the best one to go in this spec. Um, as you can see, I have the Flash to Worms, I have the Pestilential Blast, I have the Gangrenous Stench, I have the Life Leech. Another important spell for this, not that important, but important enough, is the Mark of the Devourer. It's also a dot damage over time spell. Life Strike is feated in this spec to be highly um, overpowered. So don't forget the Life Strike. And of course, cannibalism always ready to go. So let's have a look. Let's kill some easy. Let's place the dots. Um, important for the pestilential blast is you can detonate it with chill. So always have pestilential blast and chill close together. Let's find another one. The 
and as you can see once my pets the the um, funny thing about mage pets is that well it's not funny but the great thing about mage pets they don't have to move so they will do damage and they can kill the enemy also in this feedback um, life strike the big damage spell which you get from from like level 5 I think um, can be instant cast which is quite important um, okay so that's the mage spec let's turn over to melee pets spec so this is a spec I made for melee pets there we go and as you can see the most important ones are the corruptor blighted one and I've also put in the harvester and the life stealer now you can read full of them what they do um, but this spec is 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 made so I can use any four of the pets in a uh, in a uh, good way now don't forget to buff up in this spec also I have added um, um, flesh of the white um, which increases the uh, damage reduction on the absorbed shield so let's buff up oh let's buff up I say before it goes away oh that's the wrong one fear cast so here are the pets You can go with any of the pets, perfectly fine. Of course. Don't forget the frenzy spell with melee pets, um, which will make the enemy want to attack. There we go. Also in this spec, don't forget the dots. Important. So yeah, that's the melee spec for frenzy p for melee pets spec. We have uh, flashy worms again, pestilential blast, mark of the devourer, kangaroo stench, life leech. We have the life strike overpowered. Um, and in this spell, as I said, the frenzy is quite important. Also, we have another spell called the Curse of Pain, which is feated in the left tree. And the Curse of Pain makes uh, curses the target, so melee attackers have a chance of gaining Agony Strike. And their melee attacks inflict additional damage, which means all the pets will have a chance to inflict more damage. So that's um, the melee pet spec. Then I have <sighs> want to show the no pet spec, but that will take seven minutes. Um, so I'm just gonna show it here. <laughs> so in this spec, um, the most important one is to spoil the soul because you will sacrifice pet points to increase your magical damage and it is a massive increase um, because I believe you get 100 magic damage per pet point yeah this is the no pet spec Frenzy. I do want to talk about um, um, 
melee pets versus mage pets. Um, mage pets have slow casts but high damage and melee pets have low damage but fast um, fast hits I should say. So that's also important when you are fighting um, depending on what kind of boss you are fighting and what your playstyle is. Do you like um, fast short damage or slow high damage? Yeah. Um, I have another spec which is the AoE Yuck tier 5 question mark spec. I'm gonna keep that one as a secret. So uh, yeah I hope this is a little um, little uh, clarifying some things. Oh, there was a lag. So yeah remember the dots flash big lag. Remember the dots flash to worms, pestilential blast, gangrene stench, life leech, life strike for healing up, and um, mark of the devourer that I use in all my specs, and cannibalism the most, in my opinion. Uh, ability uh, for the necromancer to regain mana. You will get a little bit of damage but um, you will need a lot of mana. Um, well, okay, maybe the last thing I could show is um, the spell weaving. Spell weaving um, roots you in place and you cannot turn or anything, you just stand here and um, Spell weaving is the most important one to make high damage. Um, the death god will give you um, a one hundred percent spell critical chance, which mean which means that every spell you hit, every spell you cast, once this buff is active, it will critically hit the enemy, which means you will do enormous damage. Um, there is Parasite Host. Um, several buffs can exist simultaneously, by the way. Um, and the Parasite Host will give you a Parasitic Soul um, that will fight alongside um, whoever you are fighting. That's good to know. And then we have um, I don't see the buff. No, I'm a little bugged, it seems. So we have the Parasite Host, the Death God, then we have Death Death's channel, you gain a 2.5% bonus to your spell damage for every pet you have active. So death channel is really, really wonderful if you have a lot of pets. So with eight pets, you have eight times 2.5 is some um, 20% increase. It's a lot. Then we have arcane surge, is, which is the second one. Your spells inflict maximum damage um, because in Age of Conan, there's always a statistic and a range of how much damage your spells will do on the enemy. Um, I'm still bugged, which is very strange. And the last one is the Arcane Renewal, which is quite important. Um, the longer you spell weave, the more energy, as you can see, you will lose yellow will go down and the arcane renewal will renew the yellow bar so that's it one point one two three four five it's also important to notice that you cannot um, that you cannot keybind the spell weave um, abilities so you have to click them actively that's it that's the necromancer according to dr. Pippi. have a good one